क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू टू फिल अ स्विमिंग पूल टू पाइप आर यूज इफ द पाइप ऑफ लार्जर डायमीटर यूज फॉर फोर आवर्स लार्जर डायमीटर पाइप इज यूज फॉर फोर आवर्स एंड द पाइप ऑफ स्मॉलर डायमीटर फॉर नाइन आवर्स ओनली हाफ ऑफ द पूल कैन बी फिल्ड If we are using the pipe of larger diameter for four hours and the pipe of smaller diameter for nine hours, only half of the pool can be filled. Find how long it would take for each pipe to fill the pool separately. If the pipe of smaller diameter takes ten hours more than the pipe of larger diameter to fill the pool. So definitely, if the pipe is having smaller diameter, it is going to take. more time right as compared to the pipe of larger diameter so we will assume first of all let larger diameter pipe takes x hours now it is given to us that smaller diameter pipe takes 10 hours more so if larger diameter pipe we are assuming that it takes x hours then automatically we can write down smaller diameter pipe takes x plus 10 hours now we are going to find out in One hour, how much portion of the pool can be filled? So, if in X hours, larger diameter pipe fills entire pool, which means one pool. So, in one hour. larger diameter pipe will fill 1 upon x part of the pool now same way we will find out for smaller diameter pipe also so we have been given here that in x plus 10 hours smaller diameter pipe fills one pool then in one hour smaller diameter pipe will fill one upon x plus 10 part of the pool now we have been given for how long these two pipes are used in order to fill half of the pool so larger diameter pipe is used for 4 hours and smaller diameter pipe is used for 9 hours so we will use this information and write down 4 multiplied by in 1 hour larger diameter pipe is filling 1 by x part of the pool right so in 4 hours it will fill 4 Into one by x part of the pool. In one hour, smaller diameter pipe fills one by x plus ten part of the pool. So definitely, in nine hours, it will fill nine into one by x plus ten part of the pool. And if these two pipes are used simultaneously together, then they are filling one by two. part of the pool only half of the pool can be filled right it is given in the question so given that larger diameter pipe is used for 4 hours and smaller diameter pipe is used for 9 hours together they are able to fill half of the pool now we will try to simplify this equation in order to find out the value of x 4 into 1 by x that will be 4 by x plus 9 into 1 by x plus 10 9 By x plus 10 equal to 1 upon 
let us take the LCM we are going to get x into x plus 10 in the denominator 4 will be multiplied with x plus 10 in the numerator plus 9 will be multiplied with x so 9x is equals to 1 upon 2 now let's solve it further 4 into x plus 10 plus 9x divided by x into x plus 10 would be x square plus 10x equal to 1 upon 2. Now let's cross multiply. So we are going to get 2 into 4 into x that would be 4x plus 4 into 10 that would be 40 plus 9x equal to 1 into x square x square 1 into 10x that would be plus 10x now we will get 2 into 4x plus 9x that would be 13x plus 40 equal to x square plus 10x 2 into 13x that would be 26x plus 2 into 40 that would be 80 equal to x square plus 10x now let's bring all the terms towards left hand side we will get minus x square minus 10x plus 26x plus 80 equal to 0 which is going to give us minus x square plus 16x plus 80 equal to 0. Now let's multiply the entire equation with minus 1 on multiplying above equation with minus 1 we will get x square minus 1 into minus x square that would be x square minus 1 into 16x that would be minus 16x minus 1 into 80 that would be minus 80 equal to 0. Now we will use factorization method to solve it further. So look at the coefficient of x square that is 1 and the constant term here is minus 80. So 1 into minus 80, the product of both of them would be minus 80. Now we have to find out two such numbers whose product would be minus 80. And the addition of those two numbers will be equal to the coefficient of x that is minus 16 here. So two such numbers whose multiplication would be minus 80 and whose addition will be minus 16. Those two numbers would be minus 20 and plus 4 minus 20 into 4 that would be minus 80 and minus 20 plus 4 will be minus 60. So let's write down the middle term as x square minus 16x we will write it down as minus 20x plus 4x minus 80 equals to 0. So we have written minus 16x as minus 20x plus 4x. Now we can take x common from the first two terms. We will be having x minus 20 in the bracket and on taking plus 4 common from the next two terms we will be having x minus 20 inside the bracket. So we have got two factors x plus 4 and x minus 20 equating it to 0. So, we will do what? We will individually equate both the factors to 0. If you will equate x plus 4 with 0, we will get x equals to minus 4. And if you will equate x minus 20 with 0, we are going to get x equals to 20. Now, since we are talking about time, we are taking x as time. So, therefore, time can never be negative, right? So, what we will conclude? We will conclude that here larger diameter pipe takes x which is equal to 20 hours and smaller diameter pipe takes x plus 10 which is equal to 20 plus 10, 30 hours. 
So to fill the pool separately, larger diameter pipe is going to take 20 hours and smaller diameter pipe is going to take 30 hours. This is our solution.